Hey everyone, welcome back to the Professor Trades channel. And today we're going to talk about opportunity. There is a tremendous opportunity with natural gas. I've had a lot of folks ask me, please, Armando, can you do some evaluation? And then I'm going to show you this amazing nugget that we just found. In addition, if you look at some of the most current news that is happening right now, and I want to bring it up on your screen, there could be an amazing boom from AI that is going to highly impact natural gas. If you look at all these three bullet points, and especially the last one, natural gas demand for power generation is set to jump in the second half of this decade and U.S. benchmark natural gas prices could average as much as $4 million British thermal units. So if you go deeper into this article and uh, we understand what is possibly going to happen, there could be some tremendous opportunity. So when we get into the chart of natural gas and you can just look over here, you can see how we are at a very low point in natural gas. And I'm going to show you a secret, which for some of you may not be a secret, but we still have some open gaps way above. So opportunity is knocking. Let's get into the analysis. Okay. So we are starting on the monthly chart, which a lot of folks don't spend time, but I do to see what's happening with price action. And this is the current month that we are in right now, right? As we finish April 2024, you can see right now we are slightly higher than we were in the previous month. And if you're looking at this chart, right, something pretty unique or maybe not so unique uh, should stand out to you. And if you can see that, what I want you to do is I want you to go down to the comments below. I'm going to give you five seconds to you if you can tell what kind of stands out from this monthly chart. OK, so here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. OK, so if you got it right, I'll comment back to you. But we have still a pretty significant open gap area that was created at the beginning of this not this year, I'm sorry, of 2023. Okay, so this is gap has been open for more than a year. Just gonna leave that out there, right? Just gonna leave that out there as that price point is about 4.37. And if you just look at the article we just read, right? The presumption for moving into obviously the next second half of this decade where they're predicting some of these prices to go. And when they start making those predictions, they're usually right. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that we're going to be uh, holding uh, this trade for one or two years, but pretty interesting where that price is still open and where they are beginning to predict natural gas could end up in the second half of this decade. Okay. So more importantly, let's get into our analysis. Uh, I am going to draw a floor for now because this has been the floor. Uh, for natural gas in the very, you know, near future and past distance as well. And then I'm going to draw a roof which, that's more recent for us since we are sitting on a monthly chart. OK, so this is kind of the area that we are looking at. We just identified uh, that right now it looks like it looks like the month of April uh, is possibly going to uh, finish more bullish than it did in March of this year. So now we are going to drop into the weekly to begin to look at the weekly price action. OK, so as we are looking here at the weekly again, you can see here the gap area that was created back uh, in January of 2023. OK, and we still do have some gaps uh, in 2024 uh, that have not been closed yet. So let me show you one of those so we can keep it more recent and that's going to be right here. If you can see here on this weekly candle where we closed, price then opened down at 2.75 and they have yet to go up to 2.94 to close that gap. So this is going to be the most current gap as of uh, right now. And if you look down in here, 
to the bottom side, okay? This one is interesting because this one, we're gonna look at it in just a little bit on a smaller time frame, okay? Which will give us a little bit better perspective because sometimes the wicks uh, wick each other and they consider that a market gap close. Uh, and again, natural gas is not one that I really take for market gaps because they're very inconsistent compared to some of the other commodities that we trade inside of our trading group. But we're gonna take a look at this area as we come down uh, throughout the different uh, price points here and the different levels of time frames. okay? So we finished uh, last week kind of uh, in a downward trajectory. I think we can all see that right here, okay? So that is where we finished last week. Market will open uh, on Sunday night and we'll begin to see what happens uh, with the beginning of this particular week right now. All indications are is that we should be dropping first a little bit more before we may go back up to the upside. And that's what's going to give you an amazing opportunity to possibly pick up natural gas at a much cheaper price than what it is now. Okay. Especially if you're a buyer for long term, if you're a swing trader for long term, these are the kind of opportunities that you love to see, right? If you're more of a scalper or a day trader, like most of us are, then obviously we're going to be dropping down to some lower time frames to look for those opportunities within natural gas. So as we're looking at these markets here, okay, a couple of things to kind of look out so you can begin to kind of see what happens with uh, price action, even on a higher time frame. So if we take a Fibonacci level from where this price came up to where we saw this clear reversal, which is right here, right? We came down into the area that we focus on so much inside of our trading group. That's about the 78.6 reversal area, right? We begin looking at price action at the 61, but we love to see price give us that better price that Kmart blue light special in this area before it dipped down into the 100. Because we know if price uh, crosses into the 100, then of course, uh, it's a possible trend change. So the way our group trades, these type of entries become very simple, right? We simply look for entry in this area. And again, if you're early to the party, uh, you want to jump in at the 61.8. Uh, our stop loss areas are always going to be the 100 because that's the way we work our Fibonacci levels, right? So this trade would have looked something like this. Now, if you are a 78.6 trader, where we're going to bring down the Fib levels, then or we look for entry in the yellow box that reduces your risk. So trading does not have to be difficult. And this is all that we do for the most part in our trading group, whether it's crude oil, whether it's the indices, whether it's on Forex, we focus in on entries like this to protect you, to protect me, to protect our trading community. We look for best entries as possible. And if they hit and they activate, great. If they take off before, then we just look for the next opportunity, but we're able to have a plan. And I think that's the biggest thing that I see a lot of new traders, even some experienced traders. And this was my difficult pain point. When I first started, I didn't have a plan for my trade. I was just hitting buy or sell and really had had no plan. So this is why I'm so big on trading community. And I want to offer you all of you that are watching this video on a recording. If you see down below, I am currently giving everyone the opportunity to jump in our trading group for $7 for seven day trial. Okay. This is going to end at the end of April, 2024. The link will no longer be active. So you've got a few days left to come in, take a look at what we're doing. And if it's a good fit for you, you just say, Hey, Armando, I want to upgrade to the regular monthly plan. Okay. So I'm giving you seven days for $7, a dollar a day to come in and do our live trading with us do our live analysis with us. And we do that once or twice per day inside of our own private trading community, which is also an app where you can access via the web as well. So again, hopefully you will take advantage of that. So let's go ahead now and get back into the chart here. And so we are looking for entries like this. So you can see here, that was the opportunity uh, on the weekly when we had natural gas down at this level. OK, so now we are going to remove that real quick and we are going to drop into our daily time frame. Now, this is where we really begin to look at a lot more structure. And this is the area I wanted to kind of highlight right in here. So if you can see right here and I'm going to bring this a little bit closer, this candle 
I ended up closing here. Okay. And guess what? The price has not yet technically closed that gap. So this is still going to be an open gap. But as you can tell, why right, I'm just putting this out there, we have gaps from January 2023 that have not yet closed. But, you know, my members are always looking for, for gaps. And so I like to point it out to them. There is still an open gap. Okay. There is still an open gap. So now let's begin to look at structure based on where we are at. So I can give you some value and we can look for opportunities as a natural gas begins to move, right? That's a floor and that's a current roof. And we're going to leave kind of this as a floor for now because it's rejected five, six times, one, two, three, four, five, six, even though there's an open gap, they've come close, but they've yet to uh, reach that point. And then to the top side, we are going to see this rejection here on multiple occasions. So we're going to give that because what we're very big on inside of our group uh, is that we love to trade zone to zone. That's the way we trade crude oil. Whether that gives us 20 points, 30 points or 40, we're going zone to zone to protect you, to protect us. And it's much easier to trade, right? Even swing traders are finding it a lot more difficult because so many price reversals are happening. So we're just looking for opportunities of 20 ticks on futures or 20 pips on Forex to be able to grab the bag and get out of these very volatile markets. The longer you stay in, the longer that you can get burned. So what's happening here? We had price leave this area and do this retracement down, right? So we see that there, price came all the way back. And what we call that is we call that the teacup, right? Price came all the way back and now it's making the handle of the teacup. Hopefully you can all see that teacup there, right? And so that is a, a pretty common pattern that we see, but it's happening here on a higher time frame, which is a time frame that we love to trade from. Nothing less than the eight hour. All of my structure that I create for me and my members are always going to be on the eight hour or higher. That's institutional money. That's where money concepts are being traded. We though, as day traders, we always hear, I want to get in on a lower time frame. Well, the time frame doesn't matter. Right? You can get it on a one minute chart. If the price is the same as the eight hour chart, you don't care what time frame. You care about what? Getting the best entry possible. So uh, we are definitely going to look at these entries as we move forward. Hey, by the way, if you're getting some value, you know, I would greatly appreciate it. You can help me. You can help build our community here on YouTube. Hit that like button for me. If you're brand new, uh, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notifications bell so you don't miss on these videos. And also, how can you impact the life? Share this video with someone who may want to get into trading. Maybe somebody else who trades natural gas. Give them a different perspective. Maybe they follow someone else, but they enjoy my analysis as well. So impact someone, share the video, and uh, let's get back into the analysis. So we are now looking here at price action. Okay, so we can see here, we left here, right? We have here now still still considered our trend is still down, right? This is a lower high, a lower low. And then we come back up here. We have not yet fully broken this trend, right? If we look here, right? And we just look from here, we are still trending down. We haven't fully completed changing the trend. That trend would have changed right in this section right here. If once we start moving higher than here, we have changed the trend. Okay. Now the intermediate trend, right? The intermediate trend in this wave is higher high, lower high. Let me grab another circle. Uh, let me put it here, right? Um, higher high, lower high, higher high, lower high, right? Higher high in this wave. But in the overall structure, we're still down until we don't close above 21.4 and go higher into the 2.20s. Our structure is still down, right? We are still bearish. OK, I would consider natural gas still to be bearish. So what are we expecting? We're probably expecting now price to come back to this level. OK, and, you know, people always ask me, well, you know, Armando, where do you think, you know, it's going next? Listen, if I knew that, right, right, if we all knew where it was going, we would invest the whole house into that one trade. Right. So trading is about probabilities right? Trading is not gambling if you have a plan. And that's why you've got to build a plan. 
whether you're in my community or someone else's community, you should have people around you who are like-minded. And if you build a plan into trading, then you have probabilities. And if you can increase your probabilities to 80% or higher, you are going to be very, very successful. And that's what we're seeing inside of our group. So the probability is that uh, because we are here on a daily structure wise, it looks like we may come down one more time. Now we add a different component to that structure here. We see this as a floor. Now we're going to begin to look at the Fibonacci levels from where price took off to where price has reversed. And what do we see here? We see that price is entering that area that we look for possible reverses. Okay. Because now to the contrary, if price closes below the 100, you know what's going to happen? We're going to come down to the next level, right? So now we start looking for entries here to see if we're going to get one more bounce up because if this pattern continues, then it's very simple to predict the next higher high is going to happen up in here, right? It's going to happen right up in here in alignment with this movement happening right here. But right now we have rejection, okay? And to the contrary, the next lower low, if they push below this low, it's going to happen down near the 178 to continue this pattern down in this section. So right now we are in trading within somewhat within this, let me grab a line here, within this particular area right here. Now these are not perfect. And I'm going to move this a little bit here just to kind of see that we are in this area. And let me grab this right here. My mouse is being whipped. Okay, so we're kind of in this channel. Okay, and this is just for a visual purposes. Not that the channel is a perfect drawn channel, but I want to kind of give you an idea because channels should be symmetrical. Okay, that we are kind of in this area. And so what's going to happen here now on a bigger time frame is if natural gas enters this area, we have two choices. We look for the bounce back up. Or if we see that natural gas just plummets right through, we're then looking for sales, right? We're looking for a buy bounce here, or we're looking for sales below 1.8457, okay? So you've got to be able to change your perspective fairly quickly in trading. And one of the biggest things we all do, because we're human, we're biased. We tell ourselves and we convince ourselves of what? Market's gonna go down, so I'm gonna sell, but the market does the opposite. Let the candles, let the price action on the smaller time frames that I'm about to show you indicate where price is going. Okay, so let's go ahead and start walking this down a few more time frames just to give you some additional value. So now that we're here, we're gonna jump to the eight hour. Okay, we're gonna jump to the eight hour and we're gonna look at structure from the eight hour. Okay, again, we're in this channel. We're in this channel and we're gonna see what happens around this area right in here. Okay. Now, one extra tool that I like to use, especially for our newer traders who are getting so much value, is we like to use the parabolic SAR. This is helping our newer traders not get into a trade or validate a trade, okay? And I've got videos on the parabolic SAR. If you come into a, on my community, you're gonna have tons of resources on this as well, but you can clearly see here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hide the image. You can clearly see here, that this first parabolic starts to the top side happened here back on Wednesday. That was our confirmation that we were going short. Okay, we were going short and we just follow the dots, right? If you can follow the dots, you can use a parabolic SAR and price is still trending down on a higher time frame. That's why right now we're going to be more cautious to buy. We have our zones that we talked about. We use our fib levels, but we're going to want to see confirmation of a SAR on a smaller time frame. So if we drop down into the four hour, what do we see here? We still have SARS to the top. We had a small retracement, SARS to the top. So all the major time frames are still indicating that price is expected to drop. Okay. On the one hour, we even have SAR to the top. So what we like to do is we like to incorporate uh, that one strategy, something that I walk you through as we walk down the different time frames to be able to do what? To protect you, to give you something visual that can allow you to either 
help you make your entry or decide this is not a good fit. And of course, the smaller time frames are not going to be as accurate, especially with natural gas. That's a crazy, it's a slow moving pair, but it's a crazy pair to help you. So most of our traders who are using the SAR, I encourage them four hours or higher time frame, but you can begin to look for that one hour reversal. And if you get two or three SARs, you know, it's going to confirm trend, at least for day traders, right? If you're day traders, you can get away with a one hour. If you're swing traders, you want to definitely look at that one hour, four hour, and that's your confirmation to go short or long. So we do a lot of in-house training in our app and our live events, and we just reinforce the concept. So here is our view. Let me get rid of this right here. Here is our view of the, let me make this smaller. Here is our view of the one hour chart. Okay. So we're going to wait to see, again, this is not a valid trend line. This trend line was only to show you perspective. I'm going to kind of get rid of it. So I don't confuse you just to show you that we are kind of in this channel, but it's not really a channel because in the higher time frame, we still didn't have multiple touches to the bottom. So we are going to see what happens now here in this area. This area is going to be very crucial to see what happens. And this is the view from the one hour. Again, confirmation. Uh, we have previous rejection right here. You can see it right in this area. Okay. I do see some liquidity candles down here. So I want to see them reach as low as possible near the 88 percentage, because what that does is if you were going to trade this looking for a bounce up, right? The closer you can get to the 88, the easier it is to be able to say, I'm going to take a long position on the 88. Always the goal is to try to go back up to where price came from, right? Even though we have a 20 pip challenge in our group to help you grow your accounts, right? 20 ticks, 20 pips and get out. Uh, this is where structure would change. So you limit your risk. So some type of long at the 88 would look like this. That's a great risk to reward, right? And those are the kind of entries that we like to focus on because you can lose one or two of those and all you got to do is win one and you're still up on your account because of the risk to reward ratio. So again, that's kind of the way that the long would look back in this area. Okay. Back in this area. Now, I always tell my folks as we begin to close this video is, you know, you see some type of news, you see a major candle, right? Falling like this on the top side. Then what you do is you just ignore that level and you let it drop to the next Fibonacci level, which in this case would be the 127. Okay. Which would be 127, which is of course an area that we've seen prior uh, bounces from. Okay. So this is where you've got to pay attention to price action because price action is going to be keen. But if you're wrong, you're only a little wrong. And then you look for price to come back up and close and continue with your trade, which tends to be something that a lot of folks don't do. They quit on their trade and they no longer kind of come back into that trade and they had the opportunity there. Okay. So I hope you got some value on today's uh, I was about to say crude oil on um, today's natural gas video. Uh, again, we want to hear from you. If you have a comments, if you want to see more of these types of videos, go down in the comments below. Let me know more natural gas or, or another pair. Uh, but again, the real value is going to be by joining our trading community. You're coming in for a dollar a day trial and then less than a dollar a month in the current monthly plan, which is also going to increase on May 1st of this year. So if you're thinking about it, don't hesitate. There's no contract. You can cancel anytime. Come on in and see what we are doing because we're doing daily analysis once or twice a day. We're updating charts. We've got a community of over 180 traders who are in the chats, active London session, US session, helping each other out, giving value. And there's no fluff in there. There's no entertainment. It's about helping people find good entries on different trading charts to be able to make money, whether that's a dollar a day or a hundred dollars a day or a couple hundred thousand a day, depending on your trading account, come on in and see what we are doing. Heavily focused on crude oil. Okay. But also indices. And if you're a Forex trader, don't worry. We're trading, you know, we're trading the pound. We're trading everything else on the Forex side as well. For those folks that want to trade Forex as well as a backup. Most folks are here for crude oil. That's what we kind of specialize in but we've got a lot of value for you. So come check it out. You got nothing to lose. You'll waste $7 uh, at a Starbucks coffee.
All right. Thank you. If you got some value, again, hit the like button. If you're brand new, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a happy week of trading.